well. I was pretty involved in the kitchen. Um, we would take the flour out, water, throw it in a bowl, and just start stirring around. And we thought, like, if we did this, we could make pretzels out of it. Um, and so we were basically making glue. I remember when I was about five years old, I couldn't even see above the countertop. But I could hear everything that was going on, so I spent my time in the kitchen just listening to the knives. Actually, one of my most wonderful memories is actually a, um, an aroma memory. And it's cooking chocolate pudding with my grandma. Now for me, it was with my grandmother growing up in Brittany on the coast. Uh, you know, going in the garden. I mean, she grew everything, she raised everything. And uh, every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, there would be family gatherings. So it's so, it was such a blast. And stirring the chocolate pudding and smelling it and anticipating it and standing there with her and just having this close time with her. And to me, that really sums up what's so beautiful to me about food um, is that time together, that process, and then, of course, the reward of tasting. I remember making like, spaghetti and really, really burning garlic. I thought that was sort of cool. Like, having the little black flesh was terrible, right? My mom kind of just let me discover it on my own. She was never didactic. My mother started to let me cook a little bit when I was about seven or eight years old uh, because I was obsessed with her stand mixer. So I tended to think that she didn't whip the cream enough, and she tended to think that I whipped the cream too much and it's going to turn it into butter, so we got to fight about it. I think one thing that I have a beautiful memory of is my father perfecting his barbecue chicken recipe and sharing that with me, and he didn't share it with anybody else that I know of. Spaghetti sauce. I had Italian grandmother, Italian mother, and uh, uh, so we have, but it's like such a trite story, an Italian-American with spaghetti sauce. Each time my granddaughter comes at home, she says, Papa, can we make chocolate? You know, so we do. So I cook with it. I will tell you one thing. My grandmother and my dad thought I never liked her. Either. She's Norwegian. She's kind of, you know, a little pinched. Not really good cook, but she made this coleslaw. It's really finely chopped coleslaw with vinegar, white vinegar, sugar, and celery seeds. It is really better if you let it like sit for a day or so. And I still make that coleslaw, even though I never liked that grandmother.